Hi, my name is David Nadel from Blue Feather, and today I'm going to show you some of the cool features of Cloud Container. Cloud Container is a new product from Blue Feather, which allows you to store your FileMaker container data in the cloud. Uh, rather than using a native FileMaker container, you can use Cloud Container, and when you store your files, they'll be put into any S3 compatible storage service. This includes things like Amazon S3. Uh, Backblaze B2, Wasabi, or any other service which is listed as S3 compatible. Uh, first, I'm going to show you how storage works when you're putting files into Cloud Container. Uh, here I have a FileMaker solution that has a Cloud Container container on the left side and a native FileMaker container on the right. Um, with a native FileMaker container, I can take a picture like I have here and drag it into the FileMaker container and the file gets inserted into the container. Similarly, I can do that to Cloud Container. I drag it in, the file gets inserted into Cloud Container. We get a little check mark to show that it's uh, been uploaded and a thumbnail appears just like what you get with a native FileMaker container. Uh, I'm going to show you what this actually looks like in S3. Uh, here I've connected Cloud Container to my S3 bucket and we can see from this that it's created this folder and put the file here in my S3 bucket. If I go and delete the file from Cloud Container, I'm just going to right click on this and say delete file. Uh, the file disappears from there and when I refresh we can see that the file has been removed from my S3 storage. Now again, in this case, I've configured this to work with Amazon S3, uh, but you can use this with any S3 compatible service. Some of them are actually cheaper than S3 as well, so if you have a lot of files to store, uh, something like Backblaze or Wasabi might be a good option for you. Uh, so that's just one of the cool, great features of Cloud Container. Uh, I'm going to use a script in this case to transfer the file from my FileMaker container up to my Cloud Container rather than using drag and drop. So using a script, I've transferred that to Cloud Container. We can see that in the Cloud Container now. I'm going to make this larger. As I do that, we will see that this thumbnail resizes, and I get a larger preview of that here. Now, one of the other cool features of Cloud Container is that we have lots of enhanced interactive container features, which you don't get with a regular FileMaker container. For example, here I have an image. I've made this window larger, and now I'm going to switch this from a regular container view to the interactive view. On an interactive container with an image, I can actually do editing and markup on this image. I'm going to take this file and crop it down. And because this is a very classy bird, I'm going to give him a nice red monocle here. Make this a large uh, pen color here. And let's give him a monocle on this and do some markup on this image. Look at that classy bird. Now that I've finished with my cropping, editing, and marking up, I'm going to hit save. The file saves, and if I switch back to my regular container view, we can see that my markup on this image has been saved. I was able to do this right in line inside FileMaker without having to switch to another application or export the file, edit it, and re-import it. Uh, Cloud Container also lets you view a lot of file types that you would otherwise not be able to see in FileMaker. I'm going to make a new record and put in a Word document. I'm going to drag this first into the FileMaker container. You can see the Word document is in there. And drag this into Cloud Container. We get an icon in both cases, but I can swatch the, switch this to an interactive view. And I can actually see the entire Word document in here and even select text inside that. Let's take a look at another file type that we would otherwise not be able to see in FileMaker. I'm going to make a new record and put an Illustrator file in my FileMaker container on the right. In this case, we're not able to see what this file is, but if I put it in Cloud Container, we're actually able to get a preview of the Illustrator file. Finally, I'd like to talk about some of the cool sharing features with Cloud Container. Uh, sometimes you have a file and you want to send it to a client and you've already stored it in a container field. Normally, you would need to export that file from your container, put it in something like Google Drive, um, or if it's small enough, you can email it to a client and then attach it to the email. Uh, but even with Cloud Container, you don't even have to worry about having large files because you can share your files directly from Cloud Container. Uh, in the demo file, we have this implemented with a Share Cloud Container button in the bottom right corner. 
this button can be used to generate expiring share links that will allow someone to download data from a cloud container for the specific container you sent to them. In this case, this is set to expire in 86,400 seconds, which is 24 hours. I'm going to click Generate Sharing Link. Uh, we can see this copies the link to my clipboard. And if I was to send this to a user now, I'm doing this in an incognito, so I'm not logged in as anything. The user gets the link, and they can click it. And as we can see here, it's downloaded this file to my computer. Uh, it, this is a signed link, so if someone tries to edit any part of this, uh, they just get taken to a login screen because their link is no longer valid. So it's a secure way to send those URLs uh, for downloading. After the expiration time, from the time that you generate the link with the link lifetime that you've set on it, the link is no longer valid and the user that you send it to will no longer be able to download files from that container. You can send non-expiring download links as well. Uh, so that's it for this quick demo. I hope you find Cloud Container exciting. We think this is a great way to store all your files in S3 to give you enhanced container features like inline image editing and additional file previews and uh, great sharing functionality to get your data from your Cloud Container in FileMaker to users who are not part of your FileMaker system. Thank you very much.